Ah, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this might be the most important video I ever do. There is something that you need to know if you want to give yourself the best opportunity to win. Strategy versus tactics. What I'm doing with my hands there, that's intentional. Because strategy is an overall direction, it's an overall goal that you have, and tactics are ways to get to that goal. If you want to be an artist and you want to have a career doing your art, that means you have to have a strategy because the strategy, there's some kind of overarching goal that you have. Every single piece of art you are creating and putting out into the public is to achieve the overall goal of living as an artist. But you have to realize that's still a little bit too general. You need to get something more defined in terms of what is your strategy as an artist? What do you want to look like specifically as an artist? Get a little bit more specific. I can't create this strategy for you or even give you um, too many videos because that's a little bit personal. What level do you want to live on? Some people just want to tour for a given amount of time. Some people really want to kill the game and become legends. But there's different ways and different tactics that are necessary to get to different directions. You can be busy. There's a lot of people that are busy, but a lot of people are busy going nowhere because whatever they're doing, all the things they have their hands in, don't get them towards a specific defined direction. It's just going here and then I go five steps this way and then I go three steps back and then I go five steps that way and you just end up in the exact same space you started in. Ever had one of those years where you felt like you did a lot of stuff, but then at the end of the year, somehow, the hell, how am I in the same place? Yeah, that's what tactics with no strategy does for you. And a lot of you guys will fail if you do not choose what your career strategy and decide what you really want out of it. But a lot of people are trying some things and failing because one, they don't actually have like I said, a strategy, they're just stuck in doing tactics, which is tiresome because when you're building up and not making any progress, you just get fatigued and you lose all of your ambition, all of your inspiration. And what that does is weed out that a lot of people, straight up, they don't really want a music career. They just want to be popping or they have this dream, but they just want to do something because they think it'll be cool, but they aren't committed to actually making it a career. They just want to do something pop off a little bit and then maybe once I get in the game I'll figure out what I want to do but that's exactly why it's not good to complain about a lot of these artists that you see because most of them don't have career plans which is why they won't be around for long. Shoot, in 2017, how fast things move. You can have somebody literally be number one most talked about person in the world, and in three years, maybe two years, you will have young people who literally never heard of. And for those who have been living long enough, there's probably some people that were super popping that you can think of from two years ago that are not popping. Start to get an idea of where you want to go. If you want to be touring, if you want to be super top of the game, if you want to be number one, if you really want to be an artist, but you also want to be an art director and you also want to do some creative branding. So that's a different look and makeup than I just want to be an artist and be the top artist in the world, right? There's different ways to be successful as an artist and live your career. Which one do you want to do? And be honest and don't be yes yourself if you just want to have a hit and pop off and do something cool and then I don't know do something else with your life maybe even completely unrelated or even if you don't even know it, what you would want to do past that point be real about it at least with yourself at the moment so you can plan for that and just that and get to that goal as fast as possible so you can move on with your life and figure out what the next thing is going to be but if you think about somebody like Jay-Z I know a lot of people these days might not really care for somebody like Jay-Z but think about the fact that he's considered pretty much number one in the game, top legend. If I got it wrong, I'll put it here. But this guy had 10 albums, I don't know how over how many years, probably like 15 years before he was actually releasing at number one. This guy was building, 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 building. He didn't have just some kind of amazing Bam, I pop off, I'm a phenomenon. He had to build. Not to mention he, he was independent and grinded to work his, his way up. He was never really in one of those traditional artist record label deals. So even if you don't like him, study his fucking moves. Not sign a deal with Samsung, Jay-Z, but reasonable doubt, I go to about 20 record labels, they all turn me down. So now me and my boys still wanna do this because we're committed to a rap career. So we're just gonna have to start our own company and hit the streets and build independently. That's the Jay-Z that you guys need to pay attention to. F all this other stuff that's going around about people talking about, is he great, really, all that kind of stuff. If you want a rap career, you're committed to a rap career, 
that's the kind of stuff that you look at and pay attention to not just him but anybody in general because there's so many examples maybe some that specifically mimic the career direction your overall strategy would like a donald glover that guy wrote tv shows now he have has a tv show obviously he's done music he's done comedy stand up and all that stuff right maybe you want to mimic that direction you want to be multifaceted but that's a strategy because donald glover he wrote for a tv show the like number one tv show 30 rock for years i don't know how many i can't remember maybe it was five maybe it was ten but that was him just unknown riding getting his skills up and then he moved into comedy and then he really moved into music he was releasing stuff but he let that start to grow that was one of the time thing he didn't just come out oh i do everything people want you to say and just realize that they're so amazing right off the back i do everything that's ego. Artists, your biggest enemy is your ego. You have to realize people can digest but only but so much. You can only get digest but so much. With fooling yourself and thinking that you're so much more complex than other individuals, it's not true. Our psychology is very specific to how it works. It's just the way we built. We all can only digest but so much at one time message-wise. Strategy, where do you want to go in the end? Because when you face all these little failures, only your strategy is going to direct you for your next move to make sure things keep moving and you slowly get that progress. Sometimes you'll get fast progress, but you at least slowly get that progress. That's why Kanye said it, Rick Ross said it. It was basically something like, I'd rather sell a million records 10 times than just come right out and sell 10 million records. Longevity, strategy, campaign, it's about a career. No one really cares about the short game. In the end, don't get distracted by it. Strategy, tactics. If you have any more questions, ask them in the comments below. Please share this thing because I know there's a lot of people who really don't understand that there's a difference between strategy and, and tactics. I want everybody to actually go deeper into it themselves. Literally Google strategy versus tactics. And other than that, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.